Hello, this is Space News with Julia. The James Webb Space Telescope team announced the successful completion of the fifth stage of the optical system alignment, during which they fine-tuned the position of the mirror segments, as well as the near-infrared camera instrument. At the same time, scientists have published new images of the star, as well as the selfie of the primary mirror of the telescope. The bright sun-like star HD 84406, located 260 light-years from the Sun, was chosen as a test target for aligning the optical system. The star in the image has six spikes, which are nothing more than diffraction spikes caused by the scattering of light on the supports of the secondary mirror of the James Webb telescope. In addition to the huge 18-segment primary mirror, James Webb has a round secondary mirror 74 cm in diameter. It's called secondary because it represents a second surface from which light is reflected. The secondary mirror directs light toward the instruments of the telescope. And this secondary mirror is located above the main James Webb mirror on three supports. When the light from the star is sent to the main mirror, part of it is forced to go around obstacles in the form of supports. This diffraction eventually shifts the light in the resulting image, forming lines corresponding to the position of the support rods. And in the case of three supports, there will be six such diffraction spikes. That is, these lines are the light of a star, which, if there were no supports, would complement the bright central part of the image. But besides the star, the image taken by James Webb also shows many beautiful galaxies that are billions of years away from us. You can distinguish their shape, you can see their spiral arms. The telescope even recorded the merger of two galaxies. Over the next six weeks, the final two phases of alignment will be completed. During this, the optical system will be adjusted for each of the scientific instruments, and any small residual errors in the position of the mirror segments will be corrected. Only after that, the adjustment of the optical system for all devices will be considered completed. This was Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe.